Well, we know that COVID-19 is causing neurological and neuropsychiatric complications in around about a third of patients affected by the condition. What we don't know is why this is happening and what the implications of that are in the long term for patients and their families. So we're increasingly recognising that COVID-19 is not a condition simply of the lung. In fact, it's those patients that are most severely affected who are the ones who've got brain complications from the virus. So it can cause a wide variety of symptoms uh, from sort of pure neurological symptoms such as walking, moving problems and sensory problems uh, through to uh, memory and other cognitive problems. Critically, Clinicians and scientists do not understand what's driving these brain complications. To what extent is it viral infection within the brain, or an excessive immune response attacking the brain, or some other form of brain injury. And without understanding this, we simply do not know how best to treat these patients. The COVID Clinical Neurosciences Study, or COVID-CNS, is a study that aims to understand the effect of COVID-19 infection on the brain. Why some people develop neurological and neuropsychiatric complications, and some do not. It's a collaboration across all four UK nations. Clinical neurologists and psychiatrists are working with scientists in the field of genetics, neuroimaging and immunology in COVID-CNS. We want to recruit people who've had a neurological or neuropsychiatric complication while in hospital with COVID-19. We want to compare them to people who've been admitted to hospital with COVID-19 who did not experience these complications. Hi, morning. Come on in. If you're invited to be part of the study, Close. we will carry out an in-person assessment of your neurological function, your psychiatric symptoms, and your cognitive health. Uh, have you been suffering with any uh, pain at all? No. Shooting nerve type pains? No. Afterwards, we will ask you for a small blood sample. And for many of you, we will also invite you to an MRI scan of your brain. And finally, we'll invite these patients to be followed up online on three occasions over the subsequent year to assess what are the longer term impacts of this. We're really hoping that the study is going to be able to reduce these neurological complications of COVID-19 for these patients. So if you're a patient who's been hospitalised with COVID-19 and suffered brain complications at that time, or you're a clinician or scientist, or you'd just like to find out more, either email us or visit our website.